what's up guys welcome to another video so we got a quick update video real quick uh, video as I'm actually recording this it's not live yet because I have one last issue so hopefully it's not going to be delayed uh, in the um, this was one of the first things I did but I didn't think to test it because I just assumed it would work and I checked it at the last second so imbued heart works fine for some reason the five dollar bond doesn't I don't know why they're coded the exact same way. I don't. I, I have no clue. I asked Dark, and hopefully he's on my way. So, uh, if it comes down to it, I might just release the update with uh, it not working, and you can just still get points. And then next update, you'll be able to buy it. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate because we're gonna be doing double Slayer points this weekend. Uh, we'll be two X Slayer points, right? Yes, yes, cool. I never actually tried to confirm that that works. Double Slayer. I'm going to assume it works because that right there worked and yeah. So yeah, it'll be double set points. So it'll, it'll be nice to get these bonds. Uh, a little unfortunate if it, it's not going to work the first week, but that's the only thing left on the entire update. So I figured we would, uh, uh, we would delay it if we needed to. So let's get started with the rest of the stuff that's actually done right now. So first thing, rock cake should no longer kill you. There is now a little bit more of a delay. Uh, and then I also made the eat option the same as guzzle because realistically this is the one you'd want to use more of anyways. Uh, the original logic I had for it was that eat would just always do one damage and that would be like a way to top off. But through the process of coding, I figured out that that wasn't really uh, worth doing. I mean, really, there doesn't need to be two options. I'm not even sure why there needs to be two. Because the second one basically does the same thing, right? I didn't have to prove to you that it worked, but I suppose I should also test it again just because it seems like nothing likes to work anymore. There we go. Yeah. Not dying. The ornate pool of rejuvenation now restore, uh, cures your venom. In the donator zone, there's now an improved healer, Mercy. She also cures your venom and restores your prayer points. Two new things in the Adventure Point shop. We got the Book of Basic Conventions. This is also dropped by Ezal, but considering it's not meant to be like a crazy rare item, uh, I figured I would also just throw it in the Adventure Point shop. So you can basically buy that right away if you wanted to. And then also the Bone Crusher. Thanks to Dark for getting this done. Probably one of the, I think that is actually the biggest item in the shop. Yeah, that Bone Crusher is definitely the biggest item. Uh, even bigger than the Treasure Funder. Wow. I wonder if I should maybe uh, either make that more expensive or make this less. Nah, I don't care. Whatever. Sticking with it. You can now get light energy from these uh, from the enhanced crystal chest. Light energy is something you use to make some of the higher tier inventions that will be coming out down the road. For example, the Book of Creation, which is the main drop from Izal. Um, so you need fifteen hundred for that, or uh, fifteen for that, not fifteen hundred. Uh, then one of the things you can make with the basic book of invention is energy transmute. You can turn the light into dark. Dark is actually what you need, so you, you would have to do this to make the dark energy. These experimental orbs are going to teleport you to experiments. The first one obviously teleports you to the normal experiments. The second one teleports you to experiments number two. I'll show you those in a minute. So these have the normal, uh, these are the normal ones. Now they're meant to give you invention experience when you when you kill them, but I couldn't get that working either. This 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 week was just a lot of little issues that just, they didn't make sense, right? Because obviously we had, when you killed the Jokers, you got Slayer experience. We use the exact same code, the same logic, but for some reason I cannot get it working. I don't know why, I don't know how. Um, I'll have to spend more time with it. I might even have to ask Dark for help, but at this point I just didn't want to delay the update for that. Uh, so I just know that right now you're not going to get any invention experience for killing them, which is really unfortunate because that is one of the main appeals to them. That was supposed to be one of the main appeals. If we look at their drops, we have... Uh, they're the same, so it doesn't really make a difference. But um, So Darkstone, I'll get into that in a second. Schematic right half, there's two schematic pieces. Uh, the normal experiments drop one of them, and then the number two drops the other half. Uh, you can also just get some dark energy from this as well. If we go to the other place, you kind of see those. Uh, did I not? I should have made them not aggressive. I'm actually going to do that right now. The, like I said, this is the test server. The update is not 100% live when I'm recording this video. So, Okay, but as you can see, they also are only uh, killed by leaf-bladed stuff. Uh, which... Yeah, that reminds me that the, ex the normal experiments, which we just I just attacked, they're supposed to... Or did I not attack it? They're supposed to use, um, they're supposed to use, like, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, that the cockatrices. Although I need to change the message so it doesn't say cockatrice. But they use uh, they use a mirror shield attack. You need a mirror shield to kill the normal experiment. So you need a mirror shield for these, and then you also need a leaf bladed to kill the other ones. I did say there would be more monsters that had that effect, and it makes sense that the experiments would be experimented on with those mentioned effects. So once you have both schematic pieces, you can combine them together to make a dark weapon schematic. So this is going to be a pretty nice schematic to have uh, in the future. There's only one dark weapon at the moment, and you can kind of guess what it is because I'm wearing it. Um, but if you look at the recipe, you need Pawn's Rapier, 5 Dark Stones, 50 Dark Energy, and 1 million Dark Components. So that's how you make this weapon. Requires 92 Invention, and as you can imagine from the fact that there's weapons, and it's one of these interfaces, there will be more in the future. My plan was to add another one in this update, because I already have the plans for it. It's just, it's not as important, and I don't want to delay this update any more than it already is, because Jesus is it delayed. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, this it. So it's basically like the Pond's Rapier upgraded stats. I'm still kind of tweaking it a little bit, so that's why I'm not going to show you too much what they are. But you know, it's the same speed and it's it's a slash weapon. This has potential to be the best in slot weapon because the Pond's Rapier was certainly close to whip, and this being so much better, you know, that's that's only going to add to it. Some couple shop changes. You can now get mushroom spores in the farmer shop. You can now buy coconut milk in the herb lore secondary shop. That's a big one people have been asking for. Uh, I thought it didn't work. I was wrong. I double checked everything and it works. So that's being added. Ignore double NPCs. That's a, my problem. That's obviously not going to happen in the real game. Uh, and then the construction shop now has some of the stuff that people have been asking for. So whenever I make, I, I've been making items, obviously, we, we have Titan's Max Cape, for example. Um, I mean, what's, I, I don't have anything else in my inventory. That's a good example. Uh, that's sneak peek at a future update. Uh, Book of Creation, I guess, is the example. Well, you, I, I had better examples. All right, yeah, here we go. So Master was what? Anyway, so what I didn't realize when I, when I first started making weapons or just items in general, uh, I didn't realize that the placeholder uh, item is like an item. Like you have to have the, an item for the placeholder. And when you're editing them, like a, when you edit the actual item itself, like Titan's Hosta, for example, then it works. It'll, it'll keep the appearance. Um, but when you don't change the original one, the Brutus Shield being an example, the original one won't change. So if, if you remember before, the Brutus Shield uh, it used to be a green shield. Now it's nothing because, uh, you know, whatever. But that's that was why that didn't work and why some won't work in the future. I didn't realize, like, I, again, like when I, when I started making items, I didn't realize that. So I've already kind of messed up and I've already kind of made mistakes that are basically un, unfixable. Uh, for example, some some items I used just aren't going to work. Like the the lightsaber, for example, it's it was based off an item that was never supposed to go in your um, was never supposed to go in your bank. Uh, so then, if I use the original item I based it off of, which was the rune longsword, it would just be a rune longsword. I'd have to change the actual rune longsword model to this, and then that. But I mean, that wouldn't work for all of them. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, I already done did messed up with some of the existing items. Some of them were fixable, like the book of creation will work, book of terror, book of light will work. I don't have them, I think. And then the master abyssal whip will work. Some of them, unfortunately, didn't. Like the titan's max cape, uh, I just kind of made it fire max cape to sort of balance it out. Did that dupe it? No, I'm dumb. I just had two in my inventory. Okay. I, that, that, that's kind of a potential issue with, with duping. So I, I have to be very careful moving forward to not um, make these mistakes again. And also just to make sure everything, uh, you know, is, is Gucci Pug. So I just wanted to mention that because some items will, will not have placeholders. Uh, some of them can get placeholders and some of them will just never have placeholders because I, already, I fucked up and made made it that way but I, I've learned and I, and I understand it now more and hopefully moving forward we'll have better items with better placeholders so the last thing I want to talk about is the big boss Izal so teleport to Izal uh, he's pretty simple pretty mage he does have one other little shenanigan he's going to try to hit you with but uh, I don't want to actually be near him uh, but yeah he does count as an infernal mage so if you get an infernal mage task you could kill him I don't know if that's even a thing that ever would happen, but I just figured it made kind of sense. So, boom. Um, I'll show you. I guess I'll show his dot. I don't want to fight him or anything. Show his drops. He's a hull. So, I think I've already showed these before. 
uh, basic conventions, you got your mystic, you got book of creation, the book of creation is that, why do I not have any books of creation anymore? Oh, you know what, I think I died. I think I died, that's why. And why is it not, is it tradable? It shouldn't be tradable, I should have kept it. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Book of, I'll show you the stats for this, because I think these stats are pretty much finalized. It's not best in slot in any particular style. Uh, well, technically, it is best in slot melee at the moment because you can't get an Invernic Defender. But if you could get an Invernic Defender, a Invernic Defender would be slightly better. They have the st same strength bonus, but a Invernic Defender has more stab slash crush and I believe defensive bonuses. It has one less range bonus than a Buckler and one less magic bonus than an Arcane Spirit Shield. So it is essentially your base. It's definitely your in-game shield for hi for tribreeding or hybriding for multiple styles. It's going to give you the best bang for your buck. Um, even has plus eight prayer bonus and has good defensive stats, no negative stats. I mean, it's it's definitely going to be a really good thing. Once the Vernic Defender comes out, that could technically take the lead if you if you just wanted melee only. And maybe in the future we'll have something else. But for a while, this will definitely be the book to get. So that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you next time.